Is the Savannah cat the best breed for me and my family? What is the average lifespan of a Savannah cat? Is it possible for a Savannah cat to get along with children? Is this a breed that likes walking on a leash? Keep watching to learn the answers to your questions and to hopefully help you decide if the Savannah cat is the right breed for you. In this video, we address what you should know before getting a Savannah cat. For most pet parents, we like to know our pet's history. So what better way to start? How old is a Savannah cat breed? Well, the Savannah is a fairly new breed. Their existence dates back to only April 1986, when a male serval and a female Siamese cat were crossed to create the very first Savannah kitten. In the late 1990s, the unique cross now known as the Savannah cat gained popularity among breeders and in 2001 the International Cat Association recognized the Savannah Cat as a new official breed and awarded the breed championship status in 2012. Furthermore, since the breed acquired this new Tika status in 2012, most breeders have been crossbreeding Savannahs with Savannahs and outcrossing is now regarded as less desirable. Moreover, since championship status, domestic outcrosses are no longer permissible in the Savannah breed. Number two, let's quickly discuss their appearance. So far in this video, you can see that these cats come with a slender and tall body structure and an exotic look which includes a spotted coat, large long ears, wooded eyes, puffy nose, and bold markings. The Savannah cat exotic looks draw many people, but on the other hand, the exotic look may not be an ideal appearance for every family. Their coat length is short to medium, and the texture is slightly coarse and comes in silver spotted tabby, brown spotted tabby, black and black smoke colors. Number three, are you curious to know the size of a Savannah cat? Well, did you know that so far only two cats hold the Guinness World Record title for tallest domestic cat and that the two cats are Savannah cats? In 2013, a Savannah cat named Treble was the first winner. He stood 19 inches tall from toe to shoulder, and in 2017, the second Savannah cat named Actorus took the title, measuring just over 19 inches tall. Therefore, Treble dropped to second place. However, it is sad to report that Actorus has since passed away, so Treble reclaimed the title. Typically though, the savanna cat height ranges from 14 to 17 inches and their weight ranges from 12 to 25 pounds. But like most cats, they can weigh more based on diet. Number four, these cats are easy to train. Savannas are bright, intelligent, and curious by nature, making them easy to train. They can learn to do tricks and obey commands, much like a trained dog can, such as retrieving items, opening a door and cupboards, and turning faucets on and off. Also like dogs, Savannah cats can be trained with a clicker. Number five, what is their personality like? Savannas are not known for being lap cats. Their energetic temperament prevents them from staying still and being petted for an extended period of time. However, the Savannah cats are known to be affectionate cats. They enjoy interacting with their human companions and have been known to greet friends and family at the door. When welcoming or greeting someone, your Savannah will wag his tail similar to how a dog greets its human family. Furthermore, your savanna will most likely spend the night curled up with you, and if he gets chilly, don't be surprised if he crawls under your blanket to snuggle. Number six, you may also want to know how active these cats are. Like many breeds, the savanna cats are playful and love activities. They enjoy climbing, and the higher they get, the happier they are. So make sure your savanna has a lot of windowsills and cat trees at his disposal. Keep in mind that your savanna is likely to find a place to rest on your kitchen counters, on top of your refrigerator, or inside your cupboards. 
Plus, they also love to play the game fetch. And because they're not known to be wary of strangers, they will engage in playtime with anyone who is willing to play with them. In addition, they love water, so keep those toilet lids down. Here is a fun fact. Did you know the Savannah cat loves to walk on a leash? Yes, they do. So by now, you should know that if you're looking for a dog-like cat, then a Savannah cat is a great choice. Number seven, best home. If you're going to be away from home for a long time and just want a cat that is couch potato-like rather than active, avoid this breed. However, if you want a close and interactive relationship with an active cat, then a Savannah is the cat for you. These cats are most suited for households with a family because they thrive on interaction. Plus, they are good with children who are at an age to play games with them. Moreover, because Savannah cats form a close relationship with their human family, they are also a wonderful companion for a single person, providing their high activity needs are met. Bear in mind though that if your savanna is not given enough exercise and stimulation, he will become agitated and destructive. This may cause your cat to begin rough play with your valuables and other household items. Number 8. Savannah Cats Are Expensive Savannas are classified from F1 through to F6, and cats classified as F4 and higher are considered purebred. If you want to purchase a savanna cat from a breeder, be prepared to pay a huge sum of money for F1 cats. These lovely companion cats come with a hefty price tag. We will discuss the cost after the next fascinating fact. For savanna cats, what is the meaning of F1, F2, F3 and so on? Well, simply, the F stands for filial which refers to a savanna cat specific generation. For example, the first breed of savanna cats was a result of crossbreeding between a male serval and a domestic cat, and the kittens produced are classified as F1. The second generation, or grandkids, are classified as F2, and the third generation, or great-grandkids, are classified as F3 and so on. Number 10. So now that you understand the F classifications of a savanna cat, let's look at their cost. The cost depends on the cat's F rating. The F1 generation cats are pricey, with costs ranging from $17,000 to $20,000. However, the lower generation savannas, like F3 and higher, their price can range from $1,000 to $4,000. Number 11, life expectancy. A cat's life expectancy is determined by a variety of factors, including the cat's overall health and whether it's an indoor or outdoor cat. When properly cared for and fed an adequate, high quality diet for their age, Savannas have an average life expectancy of 12 to 15 years. Take care and see you in my next video.